We're back again with some more John Farnham and Jimmy Barnes. We've enjoyed getting to know John Farnham and Jimmy Barnes because they've both been fire. Yeah, so good, individually and together. Yes, we've done one song of them together. That was the music video that we did last time. Yep. That was great, seeing them both perform and have this raspy blues rock feel. And you yeah. guys were saying on the heels of that, well, we should check them out live. So here we are. We, uh, yes. We're doing When the War is Over, a live rendition. And I think this is also originally a cold chisel song which is jimmy barnes's group okay and you guys are saying that we should check out some cold chisel and i don't know if that would be accurate with this one because <laughs> it probably is less about cold chisel and more about, about the two jimmy barnes and john farnham but yes. you guys can give us more insights we always appreciate those insights from our aussie friends that yes. come through Thanks on so these, much guys on these All videos the yeah they come through and uh they tell us about their aussie goats here yes yeah you guys have been incredible giving so much information in the comments and support so we're very grateful for that yeah, and I think um, John Farnham was actually battling some health issues when we mm -hmm. first did him. The first song that we did was Help by John. Yes, and I think if I, if I remember correctly, you guys were saying in those comments that he had some health issues that he was battling. So maybe give us an update because it's been a while since we heard anything about that. Yeah. I mean, of course, we could just go on Google. <laughs> I'd rather learn from you guys. But you guys give us the you know real details of the insights. Yes. And nowadays, who knows? You know, Mainstream media is a little bit hit and miss sometimes. <laughs> So we like to go straight to the source. His fans are going to know best, right? Yes. So let us know about John. I would like to know how he's doing. He seems like a nice guy. He's got a great voice. Great flow. Yeah, clearly with this one. You <laughs> see it's, it's off the charts. But uh, I'm excited to check out a little bit more from them. You ready? I am. Let's do it. Let's go. Thank you very much. We're going to slow down a little bit with one of... The classics of Australian rock and roll. Classic. This is a little different version of a Cold Chisel song. Ain't nobody gonna steal this heart
He's just having so much fun up there. I know. He's loving it. I love that about him. Every single time we see him, he's always smiling and having a great time. He seems like he's got a great attitude, great energy yeah, about him. Yeah, I totally agree. He's just having the best time. Yep. And, uh, sh- you know, showing off his vocal prowess again. Yes. A uh, little bit gritty, a little bit raspy. But I think what we didn't mention in our intro that we really liked about the last one was the soulfulness and the feel of the yes. vo- vocals that we were hearing from both yeah. of them. And uh, no Jimmy on the stage yet. I don't yeah. know what's going on here me either i was like is he coming am i just missing him here maybe this is like the little he's like gonna amp up the crowd a little bit and to bring on surprise. jimmy maybe there wasn't supposed to be on the stage which yeah. for this one we don't know the back or backstory on this right so maybe no. the crowd is not expecting jimmy barnes to be there yeah. and then they get to see the two australian goats on stage together that would have been see. cool experience for them. I know. I always like, love that when you're at a concert and then somebody unexpected comes out and then you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't experienced that too often, to be honest. Yeah. I haven't had the enjoyment of it. Mm. Like having a surprise guest. I'm a little bit jealous now mm. of you and all these people in the <laughs> audience and all our viewers that have experienced this probably as well. Mm. I'm left out. I guess I'll have to live vicariously through this video. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. I'm going to try my best, but, um, it was cool. You know, they've got, um, I don't know if Cole Chisel is, like I said, that's the song. So I assume that's not the band on stage, but it uh, seems like they've got, you know, vast array of uh, instruments, yeah, backup vocals. vocals. Yeah. Vo- backup vocals sound great. Mm-hmm, I was surprised to see so many because um, singing with John as well in certain points because he's got such a strong vocal yeah. that um, I didn't, you know, expect, expect him that. to need it at all. Not yeah. that he did, but it, it sounds great. But yeah. I was just on adding was, extra oomph. Yeah, I was just surprised to see that. Anyways, what about you? What are your thoughts? I really like it. I think his vocal sounds great. I love his energy. Like you said, he just has like such a good like personal energy and mm-hmm. stage presence. And um, I was also a little bit confused. Like, where's Jimmy? Is he here or am I just missing him? Um, so I'm interested to see how that plays out. And I mean, so far the song, I'm not maybe fully grasping the entirety of the lyrics, but what I'm getting so far is that you know, when the war is over, like he was talking about going someplace and not having like being on a timeline and just kind of like, I guess, like settling back in and just kind of, I guess, like what you go through when war is over and that kind of period of time where you're still a little bit unsure mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, the effects of the war are going to take time to, yeah. to get through. Right. So yeah. I think that's kind of the feel of the song. Yeah. The only other thing I'll mention is that, um, you know, the, the recording engineering, I, I took recording engineering, um, in school and so that side of me in this is just wishing somebody would go through and remove the hiss on this video <laughs> and uh, just add some of the clarity in that. That's the the one thing I got, you know, that's my ear it's going to go to um, because, you know, we know they got a, he's got a great voice. So I'd like to hear that at the forefront a bit more and, you know, maybe the quality a bit better. Maybe it's out there already and, um, it, you know, they've already done it, just not on this video where you yeah. won't get to see the audience and the stage performance as much. So that's the only thing I would say I'm like in my head, I'm thinking somebody remove that right now <laughs> anyways you ready to hopefully find some find out if jimmy barnes is gonna explode from underneath the floor da, da, da. yes let's go <laughs> Definitely a surprise.
James Bonds. <laughs> that was cute. It's funny how we said, you know, he's got a soulful kind of little bit of raspiness, John Farnham, but you definitely see the difference between oh, the two. Jimmy, when yeah. Jimmy comes in, it's super raspy. Yeah. 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 Very, um, I feel like his voice is more like raw too mm-hmm. and like kind of like gritty. It's also, you know, hard to say because he had only come on there briefly, right? He didn't have any warm up yeah, or anything. Fair. He's just coming in for what was like a minute yeah. feature. Who knows if he's saying anything else, but I assume probably not. Yeah. Fair. Or up to that point for sure, probably not. So, you know, he's just coming in and going in <laughs> with his vocal and yeah. adding all this grittiness to it, which was really cool to see. Yeah. And also really cool to see the relationship, the dynamic between the two of them. You know, sometimes you might see competitiveness, you know, because they're two of the top Australian artists, right? And competing against each other in the music industry, yeah, so yeah. to speak. But they're collaborating. They clearly have a great relationship on the two videos that we've seen, which yeah. is really, really awesome to see, um, you know, a community uh, for the music uh, aura, right? So I, I enjoyed seeing that as well. The yeah, good too. vibes. Yeah, a little handshake, a little hug. And clearly it was unexpected for the crowd, too. Yeah, yeah they're all going wild. Yeah, they, they were like, who is on stage? Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> we're ready yeah. for Jimmy. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed our reaction to yes. When the War is Over. Cool song. I'd like to check out the studio version. Obviously, studio quality is going to be a little bit better sometimes, but you yeah. wouldn't have got to see the visuals of them having yeah. a great time as well. So I'll probably check this one out on my own, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button for us. That little thumbs up does help quite a bit. What else do they have to do, Samantha? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you do not miss another video. We drop two a day. That's it from us today. We'll be back tomorrow. See you guys in the next one.